Swiss elections are a tricky one because on the outside, nothing really changes. The largest party got a little bit bigger, changes in government are unlikely, so nothing to see here, right? Well, here's the catch. Politics in Switzerland are done differently than in other countries. The government here has more of a role of a chief administrator. Actual policies are made through discussions. Discussions here in parliament, behind me, or also among the people, because the Swiss are going to referendums up to four times a year. And the way these discussions are going to go from here might have actually changed through the election. Because what happened is that the right-wing Swiss People's Party came close to their all-time high by a campaign which just focused on their core issue, immigration. They said, we can't afford more people coming to Switzerland. Now, businesses in Switzerland actually crave more immigrants because they face severe worker shortages. But that's just not what resonates with Swiss voters. This is going to influence Swiss foreign relations. Be it in talks with the EU to put relations between Switzerland and the bloc on a more firm footing, or in the interpretation of sanctions against Russia. The US wants to, the Swiss to take a more firm stance here. However, the Swiss People's Party campaigns for putting everlasting Swiss neutrality into the constitution. So while on the outside nothing really changes, the world might have to deal with a more difficult Switzerland from now on.